okay so in this lecture let us consider uh, a few examples okay so the first example is let me draw the figure i am drawing it in in an exaggerated scale okay so this is one and this is magnitude y axis magnitude and uh, x axis the analog frequency omega <coughs> and this is 1 kilohertz and uh, the transition ratio is 5 place where this top band starts and this is not given okay omega s is not given and moreover this also not omega p it is fp so don't confuse with uh, the uh, angular frequency and the normal frequency and uh, this one is 0.8 and this one is how much 0.2 Okay, so the stop band uh, transmission must be less than or equal to 0.2. Okay, now you are required to required to find out the Chebyshev transfer function. So delta P is given 0.8, delta S is given 0.2, and omega P is not 1 kilohertz mm. what did I do mm. one minute I I think I did not copy that yes so omega p is equal to 2 pi let's say capital fp and uh, fp is given as uh, 1 kilohertz so therefore this is mm, 2000 pi radian per seconds 2000 pi radians per second this is omega p okay and uh, the transition ratio omega p sorry omega s by omega p is equal to 5 that means omega s is equal to 5 times of omega p that is 10,000 pi radians per second okay so we got omega s omega p delta p and uh, uh, delta p and delta s the first thing you do is calculate epsilon why because for Chebyshev filter we need epsilon and uh, capital N if we have these two then you can find the transfer function so first let us try to find out the epsilon now if you look at this figure at this point the magnitude is 0.8 and the frequency is omega p okay at uh, omega equal to omega p the magnitude is 0.8 and that 0.8 is nothing but how much it is 1 by square root of 1 plus epsilon squared isn't it therefore 1 divided by square root of 1 plus epsilon squared is equal to 0.8 that is epsilon equal to 3 quarter okay so from here calculates out as uh, three quarter or I can say 0.75 <clears throat> so wherever possible you maintain uh, a fraction because fraction does not uh, truncate the number okay so we have found out epsilon now 
now let us uh, use this relation epsilon uh, let us use the value of epsilon to find out the uh, uh, order of the filter and as i said in the previous lecture c n of omega s by omega p is greater than or equal to 1 over epsilon square root of 1 by delta s squared minus 1 okay now the right hand side we know 1 over epsilon we know and the square root of delta s square minus 1 we know so we just substitute it <coughs> so this is uh, it is uh, 1 by epsilon means 4 by 3 and square root of delta s square <coughs> delta is 0.2 so 1 by 0 0.04 minus 1 and this is uh, 4 by 3 square root of 25 minus 1 and finally the answer is going to be 6.532 please do verify this answer okay In the right hand, the left hand side cn of omega s by omega p is 5 so substitute capital n and try a few values now substitute n equal to 1 so c1 of 5 which is 5 now 5 is not greater than 6.532 so this is not correct okay so and it is obvious that capital n equal to 2 so c2 of 5 uh, not even no needed to calculate this but anyway you can calculate this no problem 2x squared minus 1 the formula you know so 2 times 5 squared minus 1 5 times 5 25 25 times 2 50 50 minus 1 49 so this 49 is obviously greater than 6.532 now look at the scenario in the right hand side i need only 6 i have only 6.532 if anything greater than 6.532 i am okay but uh, the left hand side if you look at the left hand side the left hand side increases drastically to 49 see initially it was 5 when n equal to 1 it was 5 it has a long jump from 5 to 49 but i we can't help it okay so we have to you know live with what we got it okay so and with 49 c2 of 5 equal to 49 obviously the stop band will be much over satisfied see suppose if it is 7 okay but I am taking 49 so that means you are, you are over satisfying the stop band very nicely ok stop band will be much over satisfied ok because C1 of 5 is equal to 5 and uh, C2 of 5 is equal to 49 so it is from 5 to 49 but there is no other way right if capital N is equal to 2, right, then you can immediately write H A of S. It is an even ordered uh, filter. So H A of S that will be equal to the denominator would be simply a quadratic, right? S squared plus B1 omega P S plus c1 omega p squared in the numerator you bring all the denominator constants so b1 and then c1 and then omega p squared and since it is a even filter the multiplication factor 1 divided by 1 plus epsilon square has to come in the numerator otherwise the maximum value will not be 1 okay therefore the numerator would be simply c1 omega p square i am sorry why did i write b1 b1 will not come okay because when you substitute s yes equal to 0 then this b1 will vanish therefore don't write b1 in the numerator so only c1 omega p square okay and uh, omega p is equal to 2 pi f p and fp is a given 1000 hertz you multiply so is this a, i think we have already calculated 
2000 pi radians per second okay so therefore omega p is known we need to find out the other uh, two constants b1 and c1 for finding out b1 and c1 you have to find out first uh, y suffix 2 okay so find out y suffix 2 i gave the i gave you the formula first you find out y suffix 2 this is one half square root of this formula you know okay just write down the formula and then uh, calculate the value y2 and afterwards you can find out b1 and then c1 it's simply you know numerical calculations one can do it and c0 is the same as y2 but anyway we don't want uh, c0 here okay so you can find out all these values and substitute uh, in this expression and you can get the transfer function okay now let us take another example mm, to bring variety into experience now we take a more practical specs uh, in decibels again let me draw the figure okay like this now the pass band tolerance is uh, 1 db 1 db means minus 1 db because the highest value is 0 db this is magnitude mm, h e of j omega magnitude magnitude in db okay so y axis is magnitude in db and this is angular frequency capital omega the pass band extends to 1 kilohertz look at the unit okay it is not in radians per second it is in hertz therefore you have to convert into omega p is equal to 2 pi fp that is 2000 radians per second the stop band starts at again 5 kilohertz therefore omega s is equal to 2 pi capital f suffix s so this is 10,000 pi radians per second in the previous calculation have I done correctly I don't know mm, yeah because I was a little confused did I write 10,000 or 1000 okay so omega s is known omega p is known then the permissible stop band attenuation is minus 40 db okay so these are the specifications given now so omega p mm, 2000 pi radians per second omega s 10000 pi radians per second delta p minus 1 db delta s minus 40 db okay and the y axis is magnitude in decibel and the x axis axis is the angular frequency omega so the first thing you do is to find out uh, this delta p and uh, delta s in the ratio okay it is in the db before using this db we need to convert it into ratios so therefore delta p would be equal to if you remember 10 to the power minus 1 divided by 20 so and that comes out as 0 0.8912 okay please do verify this uh, numerical values okay so okay and uh, what we need is not delta p but we need a uh, delta p squared okay so one by i mean we need one by delta p squared okay so let us calculate uh, one by delta p squared at the same go so one by delta p squared is one by 0 0.8912 squared is 1.259 
okay so this comes out as 1.259 and then delta s squared is 10 to the power minus 40 divided by 20 so this is 10 to the minus 2 but what we need is 1 over delta s squared so this is 10 to the power 4 now we got 1 by delta s squared 1 by delta p squared now it is interesting to find out what order of Butterworth will satisfy these specifications? Then you will be able to compare Butterworth and Chebyshev. See this example I took to work out on Chebyshev. But before we move on to Chebyshev, let us try to find out the order which is required in the Butterworth filter. So that we will be able to compare the, uh, you know, the uh, order requirement in the Butterworth and in the Chebyshev. So if I want to you know satisfy these specs by Butterworth then the order NB has to be greater than or equal to log to the base 10 square root of 1 by delta A square minus 1 divided by 1 by delta P square minus 1 and log to the base 10 omega s by omega p so log to the base 10 1 by delta s square is 10 power 4 minus 1 1 by delta p square is 1.259 minus 1 divided by log to the base 10 this is 5 the ratio transition ratio is 5 and now this uh, within the square root this calculates uh, out as 196.5 why do i need this because the same numerator i can use it for chebyshev but instead of log i will use cosh okay cosh inverse okay so just to calculate this value so that no need to use this again and again okay don't waste your time and uh, if you finally simplify this then nb is greater than equal to 3.28 okay so this is exactly 3.28 and therefore nb is equal to 4 so to realize this specifications i need a fourth order butterworth filter Okay, you can take some liberties in this calculation, but uh, this liberty should not be abused. Okay, so in other words, if you had got a number which is 2.99 by making approximation. Okay, see for example in this calculation, I ignored uh, this value. Okay, so I did not consider this one. Okay, I think you should admit that. Okay, this would not make a, a drastic uh, difference here. Okay, so see 10 power 4, 10 power 4 is 10,000 minus 1. So even if you don't consider this one, it is not going to make much difference in the order of the filter. You can verify that. Anyway, NB equal to 4. Now it's a fourth order filter. Once you know the order, then it's very easy for you to write down the transfer function. Therefore, H suffix B of S this b indicates butterworth filter is it's a fourth order right so two quadratic factors s squared plus b1 omega c s plus omega c squared multiplied by s squared plus b2 omega c s plus omega c squared in the numerator i have omega c to the now in this expression I need to calculate omega c but omega c is not given in the calculation okay so you have to calculate omega c in Butterworth this is the another complication you have to calculate omega sub c because omega p is given at minus 1 db but uh, at omega c what is the attenuation minus 3 db therefore you need to calculate this omega c 
okay now what omega c at which the attenuation is minus 3 db so you will have to find out that so it's a very straightforward method you can find out that okay and the numerator would be simply omega c to the power 4 and uh, i need uh, i need to calculate b1 and b2 b1 is equal to 2 times sine of um, pi by 8 and b2 is twice sine of 3 pi by 8 so then b1 you got it and b2 you got it and omega c also you can calculate then you can substitute everything in this expression finally you will get uh, the transfer function for Chebyshev filter now let's see Chebyshev so Chebyshev nc is greater than or equal to cos inverse square root of 1 by delta a square minus 1 1 by delta p square minus 1 cos inverse of omega s by omega p now this factor we already calculated that is something 196.5 so cos inverse 196.5 in the denominator again cos inverse of phi okay so this cos inverse phi is a transition ratio so instead of using this formula um, we use the following formula c n of phi is greater than or equal to 1 by epsilon square root of 1 by delta s squared minus 1 and this phi is the transition ratio okay i think we did not calculate uh, epsilon okay so we have to calculate epsilon okay otherwise we cannot find out the order now 1 by square root of 1 plus epsilon squared is delta p squared delta p is given okay if you rearrange this then epsilon is equal to square root of 1 by delta p squared minus 1 so this is square root of 1 point 259 minus 1 square root of 0.259 this is 0 0.508 epsilon is 0 0.508 so substitute in this expression cn of phi greater than or equal to 0.508 mm. okay mm. i'm sorry 1 by 0 0.508 square root of 1 by delta a squared minus 1 okay so i have considered okay this 0 0.508 i can write 0 0.51 but uh, uh, don't take this liberty okay don't take up to two decimal places okay go further hmm? and then do the calculation otherwise you will face a, a round of error okay truncation error will occur okay therefore this is equal to 1 by um, 0 0.51 51 um, in the numerator again this is square root of 10 to the power 4 minus 1 so roughly i can say 100 divided by 0 0.51 this one i did not consider okay this one i did not consider So this is roughly 196.51 cn of phi. Okay, now put n equal to 1 in this expression. Mm, no question. Okay, so now we start with n equal to 2 because n equal to find cn of c1 of phi is phi, right? So phi is much less than 196.51. Substitute n equal to 2 therefore c2 of phi is equal to 2x squared minus 1 this is 49 so that does not do it put n equal to 3 then c3 of phi that is 2x c2 of x minus c1 of x i have written the recurrence relation so 2x um, 
2x means 2 times 5 that is 10 c2 of x is 49 minus c1 of x is 5 so 490 minus 5 485 in fact no need to calculate this 495 obviously by looking at this expression itself you will come to know that this is greater than 196.5 okay you don't even have to calculate uh, this uh, you know 10 times 49 minus 5 all those things therefore compare to the butterworth chebyshev uses a lower order okay n equal to 3 here see in the butterworth we need fourth order filter isn't it nb is equal to 4 but in the chebyshev the order is going to be nc is 3 okay so third order suffices and therefore it reduces the cost okay that is for the same specifications the lower order chebyshev does the job than the butterworth filter see in the butterworth filter we need a, a fourth order filter because the order is four but in the chebyshev the order is three so order is one less than the butter butterworth you know sometimes the order can also be identical okay so the order can also be identical the same order is possible in both the butterworth filter and uh, the chebyshev filter but in this particular case the specifications are such that a lower order chebyshev does the job and once you know n suffix c then you can write down the transfer function h suffix c of s this c indicates chebyshev so we are going to write down the transfer function for chebyshev filter it is a third order chebyshev filter therefore i must have a first order factor in the denominator s plus omega p c naught multiplied by a second order factor a squared plus b1 omega p s plus c1 omega p squared and bring all the denominator constants to the numerator so this is one constant omega p times c naught you write down omega p times c naught and then these two constants c1 omega p squared so instead of writing omega p and omega p squared then you can write like this 3 okay so directly you can write omega p cubed okay so for chebyshev you require a factor c naught c naught is obtained from y suffix n and then you have to calculate b1 and c1 and since it is uh, you know third order filter there is no factor involving 1 divided by square root of 1 plus epsilon square this is not needed in the numerator because the dc value is 1 it starts at 1 for odd order the magnitude starts from 1 so you can calculate c0 c1 and b1 and c0 is the same as yn that is y suffix 3 so you calculate y3 and then you calculate b1 you calculate c1 that's it and you substitute all the values in the um, in this expression then you'll get the transfer function okay so it's a straightforward calculation we know the formula for b1 c1 and then y suffix n all those things okay y suffix n is 1 by 2 times curly bracket of square root of 1 by epsilon square plus 1 minus plus 1 by epsilon blah 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 okay so you just write down the formula and uh, substitute all the values and do the calculation meticulously okay now there is an important note as i said uh, if uh, nb is equal to nc for a given specification given specs the order required in this chebyshev is the same as the order required in the butterworth filter so in that case in that scenario which uh, filter design should i consider should i go to uh, chebyshev or should i go to butterworth 
okay so generally if the order is same we will prefer chebyshev chebyshev is always preferred because the cut off slope will be different chebyshev will have a better cut off slope than butterworth okay so it is optimum chebyshev is optimum in the sense the transition ratio is small transition transition bandwidth is small so whenever you design a filter in such a way you make the transition width as small as possible then your filter is very good okay uh, sometimes you know if you want to keep life simple then you don't even think of chebyshev you just design a butterworth and uh, the job is over like if it is a uh, one or two filter for a dedicated job it doesn't matter okay so you are going to make only one filter or two filters then it doesn't matter which you are going to use it however in an industry they never fabricate uh, one or two filters okay because designing a filter requires a lot of engineer time to okay so you know it requires a lot of engineer time to design a particular filter and therefore they produce in thousands if not hundred thousands okay so therefore we always you know prefer chebyshev filter than the butterworth filter okay so that's it about uh, chebyshev okay so with that uh, we uh, discussed uh, the analog filter design using two methods in general there are three methods the first one is butterworth and the second one is chebyshev and third one is elliptic but elliptic anyway we did not consider and uh, we considered only butterworth and chebyshev okay now in the next lecture we will discuss how to transform the low pass filter into high pass filters uh, band pass filters and band stop filters till now we have discussed uh, how to design a low pass filter using butterworth method using chebyshev method but in practical life we need a high pass filter we need a band pass filter we need a band stop filter so in that case we need to know or we should have a mechanism such that transfer or transform a low pass filter into a high pass filter transform a low pass filter into a band pass filter transform a low pass filter into a band stop filter so that's that's so we need to you know transform this so that's what we will uh, you know study in the upcoming lecture upcoming lectures okay so that we will study under the topic of frequency transformation in analog filters frequency transformation in analog filters okay so in this topic what uh, we wish to do is to transform a normalized low pass filter with a cut off frequency of 1 radian per second into other kinds of filters in which the cut off frequency is not 1 radian per second okay so the cut off frequency is omega p radians per second okay so let me stop here we will continue this in the next lecture thank you very much